Browsing the deep web can actually be very fun, but it can also be very dangerous if you don't do it correctly. So today I'm going to show you how to do it safely and it's actually easier than you think. So the first question is, what is the deep web? Well, the deep web is essentially a, another part of the internet, but a part of the internet that you can't actually access with a normal browser. In fact, you actually need a special browser to access this part. Now, there is a lot to explore on here, and there's a lot of fun things you can do. Now, while accessing the deep web is legal, there is a lot of illegal websites on there too. For example, marketplaces for drugs, guns, and weapons, child pornography, and the list goes on. So, if you do it right, you can actually avoid these websites and have a fun experience exploring the deep web. So, let's get on with it. If you do decide to go on the deep web, I cannot take responsibility for your activities. This video is strictly for educational purposes. So, the first thing you want to do is download a browser called Tor. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you need this special browser in order to access these underground websites that you can't actually access with a normal browser. So, you can do this by typing in Tor browser into Google, or you can just click on the link below and it will take you straight to the website. Once you're here, you want to download the correct version of Tor, and this is based on your language and your operating system. So, I'm going to download the English version, and it's 64-bit I've got. Now, if you don't know if it's a 64 or 32-bit system you have, all you need to do is go to the bottom left, type in system information, and it will tell you on here. Now, once the browser is downloaded, you do not want to install it just yet. You want to move on to the second step. The next thing you want to do is go to the link in the description, and you want to download private internet access. It's a premium VPN, which stands for Virtual Private Network, and it basically gives you a false IP. Now, this allows you to be safe while browsing the deep web, so if someone were to track you by any chance, it will lead to a false IP address, to a false location, to a false computer, which gives you a false identity. Now, you do want a premium VPN, for example, private internet access, because they don't store any traffic logs. You can use it on multiple devices, for example, mobile devices. They're easy to use, and they block ads, trackers, and malware for extra security. Private internet access comes at an affordable price. They do have different payment options, so you can choose what's best for you. Once you've downloaded and installed your private internet access, you then want to go ahead and change a couple of settings just to ensure maximum security. So what you want to do is right click on the icon in the bottom right hand corner and where it says connect by we want to make sure it is selected on country and not region that way your IP address will be based in another country and not based in another region around your area or in your country. Once we've changed our VPN settings you then want to go ahead and right click on the icon again and select connect auto. Now you can always connect to and select another country manually. Once that's connected successfully, we then want to go ahead and install the Tor browser. To install the Tor browser, all you need to do is select the installation program and then just click through the settings. You can always follow what's on the screen to make it easier for yourself. There's no complicated steps required. Once you've installed Tor, you then want to go ahead and open the application and you want to configure the browser. It's very easy, all you need to do is click on the connect button on the left and just let it load. It's then going to go ahead and encrypt all of the network settings to get it ready and prepared for browsing. Now there are only a couple more things to do. The first thing we need to do is bump our security levels up even more. And we do this by going to the onion icon in the top left hand corner. And we want to make sure our minimum security level is on safer. Now if you are planning on doing some shady things on here, you might want to consider bumping up to the safest option just to be sure. Now websites will load a lot slower with these security conditions, but of course I'd rather be safer than sorry. Last but not least, you want to make sure your program is always in windowed mode and never in full screen. If you put it in full screen now, as you can see it gives you a quick warning as to why. So you want to make sure you leave it in windowed, even if it is widescreen or if it's in a square, just do not have it in full screen mode. And that is all you need to do to browse the deep web safely and securely. Just bear in mind that deep web links are actually .onion links and not .co.uk or .com links. I will leave a link in the description to a website that you can view over 700 deep web links that you can view at your own will. Just bear in mind that if you do feel like something suspicious is going on, 
you can click on the onion in the top left hand corner and click refresh our identity and that will refresh your Tor browser. So that's everything, if this video was helpful please leave a like and pass it on to someone who may find it helpful as well. If you do have any questions or comments just comment below and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. So thanks so much for watching and have a good day.